you can even generate a workflow. So when a task is completed, send me a message on Slack. Nice. And then create automation. Now I'll just have to choose the product. So I could say in my go-to-market strategy, whenever we have a new milestone, that milestone is completed, send it to me on Slack, and I'll just save it and turn it on. And that's within minutes, whereas yeah. before it might take 10, 20, 15 minutes to do some of these I things. I love that. Yeah, that's, this was actually a request from users. So to have natural language for automations, because a lot of people mm -hmm. want to do automations, but they're not familiar with them. Maybe they haven't done them before. They just want to use natural language, saves them a ton of time and headache just trying to look at everything and set it up. Please yeah. uh, keep the feedback coming. I'll put that link again as usual. Exactly. And also, you can also eventually generate agent tools. We're still fine tuning this as well. But agent tools is the same. Essentially, what you're doing is you're creating a tool for your agent, right? So over here, we have some of these presets already, like create project, add task, assign task, ask agent. We have these presets already. But you, what you can do is you can actually create your own new tool. So for example, I have an agent tool over here. I could say YouTube URL or some other parameter. And then after it's from here, let's say I wanted to summarize something. I can then use at, oops, we'll do summarize the YouTube video and give me 10 pointers. And you know what? We'll actually add a step in between. We'll transcribe YouTube video. Over here, we'll put the YouTube URL. And then the input would be the content. And then we can create a project. And we'll just say new pointers. And then from here, we'll just take the summary from before. And essentially what this is, agent tools are essentially, if you don't, if you need more than one step in your automation. So right now with agent, with a tool such as transcribing a YouTube video, it's just one step. It just transcribes the video and then gives you a response. 